Hi, hello everyone. Uh, this video is part of the uh, homework one of CSE 591 course. In this video, I'll be describing how how we can use Ansible to provision a uh, couple of machines, uh, one on the Digital Ocean and one on the AWS EC2. So as you see, currently there are no droplets uh, on uh, on Digital Ocean and uh, no machine running. Uh, currently on the e uh, EC2 as well. So what I have done is I have created a shell script file in this I have uh, I'm running uh, I'm in initially I'm removing the unseeable uh, unseeable inventory file then I'm running droplet main.js which is responsible for creating a droplet and uh, and and and, and uh, using that IP address to 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 uh, add it in the, the into inventory file write it into the inventory file and another is aws main.js uh, which is similar way for aws to get the aws instance up and running and uh, and further installing the nginx on both the machines so i'll run the command So currently what we have done is currently uh, a uh, droplet main.js is running so it will try to create a droplet first and once the droplet is created we are using the slip to to let some time to get that droplet up and running and after that uh, that is uh, the, 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 the droplet is up we are using that IP address to write it into the inventory file such that the with the user root and giving the private key file in the Ansible. In Ansible in folder keys we have a couple of keys one for AWS and one for uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, for other credentials I have maintained uh, this JSON file wherein I have wrote my personal credentials and which I am uh, I am accessing in this file and I will make sure that this JSON file would not be included into the git repository for security purpose. So. Uh, I've given up a timer of 80 seconds for droplet to get created uh, just so that when we do the get droplet info call uh, we should get the uh, correct droplet info and now the droplet is up and running and when we get the details of droplet uh, we get its ID name and at the end you will see IP address which will be uh, returned to the which have been written as a node 0 to the inventory file um, now the a similar process is going on for the AWS instance wherein we are getting the secure secret access key and access key ID from the JSON file and using the EC2 API we are using run instance method to to create a instance and once the instance is up and running we would be calling describe instance method so that uh, we get the IP address and we would write that into the uh, unseeable uh, inventory file as well once both the files are uh, written uh, into the inventory file uh, we will we will run the playbook unseeable playbook in that we have just specified that on the block servers we have couple of nodes node 0 and node 1 uh, which uh, I would show it in the inventory file. Just install nginx web server and with the sudo uh, user and start nginx after that. And once the nginx is started, notify. So AWS instance is also ready with the IP address as 52.8.80.9. Now the uh, playbook is running, which is uh, trying to get the nginx installed and up and running on uh, both the servers. I can show you the inventory file. The inventory file is written in such a way that these are the couple of IP address that are getting created. Um, this is inventory file has been run in Ansible playbook to install nginx. Uh, we can see these instances in the browser. Now, uh, so if I refresh this, I should see this instance with the address as 52.8.80.9 and digital ocean droplet as this IP address. Um,
so yeah so uh, the nginx has been installed and is up and running on both the ips so let's test this by putting this ip address into the browser you can see welcome to nginx message comes which specifies that nginx has been running on this machines so that's how you can install uh, nginx on both the uh, uh, instances on both the service provider that's how we do the server provisioning that's all from my side thank you so much for listening